Hi, Barry Rogers here, and I've got something really exciting to show you. You know, sometimes you want to get a product up there, and you want to sell a product, and you're just a bit worried that people are going to steal it. So, you know, you have to protect the download page somewhere. And it's a really great idea to have a download page because you can put a CPA offer on there, or another bonus offer, or an upsell on there. And, you know, that's a great thing to do, but. The problem is it's unprotected, and the alternatives suck. You know, you've got to go and get a WordPress site set up, and um, make a put, get an expensive plugin and install it, and go through all the rigmarole just for one simple product. You know, it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to show you how you can protect a thank you page like this one, any thank you page, behind a members area in five minutes or so with this super duper software I'm going to show you. Okay, so what I've got here. Is a typical um, PLR product or master resale rights product which comes with a sales page and a thank you page. Okay, now um, this one's called Easy Product Creation. So, what I've done is I've made a little empty folder there called Easy Product Creation where we're going to put the membership site pages that we're going to make or that the software is going to make because we don't have to do very much at all. And uh, what I'm going to do is time it. It's around five minutes. Hopefully, I'll do it in less than uh, five minutes, but we'll see. Um, so uh, let's get started. Let's 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 just do it. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to start the timer. Now, what I've done is I've uploaded, I've opened both of these pages in Composer, which is a free HTML editor. Because so we've got to put a little code snippet on there. Now, don't worry. It's very very simple. You're going to get this file in your package and you just take that first line of code, copy it, and then we're going to go near the top of the page here and we're going to go insert HTML, paste it there, and insert it. Okay, then save. And we're going to do the same for this side. I'm going to take that second bit of code there, copy it, come back over here, put it here, and insert. HTML, bang it in, okay, and we save that one. Okay, so that's done. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the software and we're going to get started making our um, member site. So, here's our software. I'm just on one minute so far, just having a look at the old stopwatch there. And here's our member site, uh, here's our member site software. So, first of all, it's asking us for a name. Okay, that and the next thing, which will be an email address, is used on the email that it, it makes for us. Okay, it makes an email for us that we can send out to people to give them their details. Enter the name of the product, Easy Product Creation. And next, it's going to want a registration code. I'm just going to make one up. You make it more complicated than that. And then it's asking you to, for the HTML of the download page. So that's very easy to do. We just open this up with Notepad. Okay, and we just select all. So we can right click, select all. Right click again, copy. Go back to our software. Paste that in. And then it's saying create site. So we click on create site. We made that EPC folder, so we're going to put it in there, and then we're going to wait for it to build. It takes like two seconds. Okay, it's there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this onto the net. We can minimize that now. So I've got here a um, FTP program. I'm just going to refresh this so this has some stuff in it. There we are. I'm just going to upload that to my server. Okay, so I'm just going to click Upload take a second or two to do that. Let's open this up. It's almost done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the sales page and we're going to have to upload the images and the index. So we upload those. One thing I didn't mention is that inside here is an automatic um, upsell as well. And we can disable that. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But next we need to go to the members area. We need to open this image file. Open this image file. And then we need to select all of these. So we're over here. So we select all. And we just need to drag those across into that image 
file over there. And that's basically so the download page images will all work. Okay, and that's done. Now if we have a look in this members area, uh, you'll see here there's this special offer HTML. Now that's the upsell. If you don't want that, you can always get rid of it. Okay, let's have a look at the clock, see if I've got time to do that. Mm, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, but basically we're done. Okay, we're done. So we're done in uh, three minutes, four minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up this member site and let's pull it up in uh, Composer. That's the, what we had before. So let's go to uh, my site and it was EPC. And it's there. We can see we've got this members login. Okay. If we click on that, it's going to be asking us for a username and everything we don't have it so it's going to send us back to the sales page to get it now the actual sign-in page is called if we look on here uh, in the EPC folder is sign up HTML so if we dial that in here We get this sign up page okay now it's asking us here to um, enter registration code okay now the registration code is that one that we just made up which you would send to somebody in the first email from your autoresponder so let's set up this and test it okay just call it Barry And we'll just call it 123 for the password, 123 for the password, and the registration code was 12345. Okay, so we register. We are now registered. We can click here for the members area. Now our username was Barry, and it was uh, 123 for the password, and we can log in. That's the special offer that we see. Okay. Um, this is the uh, we can we can just make that our own. We can add our own stuff in there um, if we want it. Like I said before, you can disable that, and in the training video, I'll show you how to do that. And there we are, and we can log out here if we want to, and log back in again. So we have a members area which is protected. So grab your copy right now. It's easy.